Now, my next guest took part in a very special and really emotional Jubilee edition of The Repair Shop last week. Will Kirk, back on our screens tomorrow night with another rescue mission as the new series continues. Well, Will joins me now. Do you know, you know how much I love this show. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. But also daunting for you guys, because these are such precious objects. Might not be worth a lot in monetary terms, yeah. but so precious to people. Yeah, I mean, just look at my face there. <laughs> you can tell, <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, there is a big pressure for us to get it right. Yeah. And there are so many people that have something that's broken and they're not too sure where to take it. Or if they find someone, you know, are they going to do a good job? Yeah. A lot of these things mean a lot to people. So uh, it's an honour that they've come to the barn and handed it over to us. It must be so fantastic. I mean, for us watching, it's wonderful. But the emotion in the, in the barn when you're all there and, you know, you've worked so, so hard to make this as perfect as you can. And then to see people's faces. Yeah. It's just that, wow. They just <laughs> light up, don't they? It's a strange world because, I mean, we all are like a big family in the barn. Yeah. Uh, and you've got these lovely people coming in and you're listening to their stories and then you're fixing their furniture. There's just so much going on there. You really want to do a good job. Mm. And I love what I do. So to be you able to do what I like to do <laughs> and to make people smile as well, you know, it's a bonus. What I love about it as well is watching you, all of you, doing something so beautifully and so perfectly and so well. And also that, you know, we do live in a, in a society that kind of throws things away. You know, we are, we do. And it's lovely to see things lovingly restored like that. It's yes. So good. I mean, it's good for the soul. It's good for the soul. Um, <laughs> it's good I for mean, the it's a hit with so many different people. Yeah. Um, for people who have like an office job who might think, you know, on the weekends I go to my shed and I tinker away with things. There's, there's something for everyone with this. Yeah. If you like the history of furniture or uh -huh. the stories and everything else, or just the fix. There's something for everyone. And I think that's why it's worked so well. Very, very much so, very much so. And um, I also have to say to you, congratulations. You're going to be a dad. I am. When, when, when is it all happening? <laughs> um, baby is due in uh, July. In July. I had an antenatal class last night. How was that? They're changing nappy. <laughs> <laughs> How did it go? <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't realise there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on, Will. Oh, there's a lot a of A lot of time, on. many times in one day, apparently. But it's going to be fantastic. I know, I can't wait. It really is. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? We're having a girl. Oh, congratulations, Thank that's you. lovely. <laughs> and, and you don't obviously don't share it with us, but you've got names, you're all sorted. Are you just in that process? We have a name, but right. we're going to wait until she is... Until she's there. There. Do you know, that's so right, because we did that too. We had a few names, and then when you see the little one... You go, oh, yeah, well, she's definitely... Def yeah, You know, exactly. my, my Rosie was definitely a Rosie. You know, you just knew. <laughs> Isn't it exciting, though? I'm so excited. Do you know what? I'm ready. I'm so broody at the moment, and um, I just can't wait. Oh, it'll be great. <laughs> and you'll be the best dad. It'll just be so lovely. It really will. And you can make her things. Will you be making, like, the, 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 the cot and the... Everyone asks Everything. me about the cart. I know, I, I, don't, know, with, I don't know um, why that goes Safety <laughs> standards. So I think I'd rather <laughs> leave that to those professionals. But I have yeah. um, started making um, some wooden animals <gasps> for her nursery. Oh. Yeah. So I started carving an well. elephant about four months ago. <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm just so busy. But I'm making some small things. Oh, that'll be so, that'll be so precious. Yeah. That'll be so, so precious. Wouldn't it be weird, like, in about sort of 60 years' time if she goes to the equivalent of the repair shop in the future to say, my daddy made me this? <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully it won't be broken because no, it won't be broken. It just from laugh. overuse, from overuse. Exactly, exactly. Well, that was what it did before. <laughs> but look, you're going to be doing a new show. It's called the Travelling Auctioneers. Tell yes. me about that. Um, so Christina and I um, meet some wonderful families who um, are either trying to raise money to visit their long lost relatives on the other side of the world, or mm -hmm. they're downsizing and they need to sort of free up some space with furniture. We have a look around the house for hidden gems, Ooh. and then we auction them off. Uh, anything broken on the way gets a bit of uh, restoration TLC. Absolutely, um, which is perfect. And then we drive around in this really sweet uh, sort of retro blue vintage French van thing. And then we sort of auction from that van and I right. fix things in that, in that van. There you there we are. are. Oh, I love that That's van. lovely, isn't it? That is really cute. What a brilliant idea. That's I really, really like nice, that. So it's yeah. kind of like things that you've got in your house that you didn't know sometimes that are... Yeah, or things that, that you're valuable. not really using. Yeah. Um, and, you know, for some reason you need, kind of need to free up the space. And rather than throwing things in the bin, you know, giving, giving them over to someone else who can love them and cherish them as well. See, I love that. That's recycling again. Not so moving away from that sort of throwaway culture if you've got a chair with 
three legs, why not make a fourth leg and keep the chair? Exactly. Um, so there's a lot of that going on. See, that's what I love. About, I mean, you know, it's, it, again, you said it's something for everyone, but it's that recycling aspect that I think yeah. is really good and holding on to things that are well-made and precious rather than just tossing them, you know, in a skip or something. Exactly. It's so much better, it really is. Now, look, you, you, you're very busy, as you said, but is it right that you do fencing? And I don't mean making fences. <laughs> I mean the actual, you know, that there you are, look. <laughs> no, so, I know. I don't, well, we have our ways. <laughs> we have our ways. And um, this is something. Do you find this a real stress buster? Do you find it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've I've been fencing for um, about fifteen years now. Have you? Yeah. Wow. Um, it's a great stress reliever, and um, it's just sort of nice to kind of keep fit. Well, I yeah. say keep fit. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. It's, it, you know, it's just nice to have like. A, a sport or a hobby or something like that. Absolutely. And it's sort of, you know, you really have to focus your mind on what you're doing. So if you're stressed out with work or something, right. you can put it all to one side and just focus on that task. That's I love really it. Interesting. And are you good? Well... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too bad. You're not too bad. Maybe not Olympic standard, but no. doing pretty you well. You come down to my club. I would love to do that. I think fencing would be really cool. I think it'd be good. I think it'd be great. Well, what a joy. It always is. Congratulations and, and all the best for next month and get and lots of practice with the, with the nappies and all yes, the rest of it. I'm you'll be a it. really hands-on dad. I know you will be and you'll love every minute of it. Thank you so much. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Thank, Thank you so much. And The Pair Shop, of course, continues tomorrow, 8 o'clock on BBC One. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.